Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. What we have here is a Simplicity Coronet rear engine dual blade uh, riding mower. Uh, it's got the custom slip on pipe. Probably adds, what, three horsepower? Anyway, um, so I got a couple new rollers I'm going to put on. And then when I bought it, this dash piece was cracked, so I have a new plastic piece here to put on. So let's get this thing fired up and get it to the garage. First thing we're going to look at is replacing these two outer rollers. They're worn pretty bad. I got some new ones here. And that's the number right there. And then I did buy these push nuts too in case I destroy these getting them off. I wasn't sure. So I just went ahead and and ordered those and that's this part number right there and I got all these parts off of parts tree all right let's go ahead and try getting this one off all right let's get some players on this All right, yeah, so I just basically pried, pried on it while I was twisting it. And I'm glad I did get new ones because that one's pretty worn. And that'll slide off like that. All right, so putting the new one on, this end with the open end will go in. The solid end goes out like that. And this is the new push nut here. We'll get a hammer on that. That is on. I was thinking about putting some grease on that, but I don't know. Maybe not. So I did not put any sort of grease or anything in there. Figure if these are these are cheap anyway, so I can always replace it. So I'll get the other side done and then we'll move on to the stash. Alright, got this one on. Um, it helps if you just kind of get behind it and pry it, have someone pry on it while you're turning it to get the push nut off, and then just pound the new one on with a hammer. Okay, and as far as this dash, I took this off. There's no nut holding it. Looks like there is a roll pin right here that's holding the steering wheel on, so we'll push that out. Okay, so it was a roll pin that holds that steering wheel on, and then it can just lift up on it like that. Okay, so what we have left here, take that off. 
Um, I'll take this knob off and if you're having problems with your deck height adjustment I have a whole video on how to fix that that's why this knob is metal um, this knob is just threaded on this is for the, the parking brake and it looks like we're going to have to remove another roll pin right here. Okay, let's get this off. Okay, so now it looks like there's two 10 millimeter bolts right here that hold this dash on. So we'll get those out. All right, so there's the old dash that is off. Okay, so this is the part number that I have for the new dash. Now this one is a 14 horse hydrostatic model. So this is what I need for my application. If yours is gear, it may be different, I don't know. But this is what mine looks like. So we'll go ahead and do the reassembly. Um, this knob here should just turn off like that. It's not threaded on or nothing, it's just a friction. All right, we'll start putting this back on. Okay, I'll go ahead and get these two 10 millimeter bolts in. And just so you know, this shaft may drop down. Um, it's not a big deal. You just gotta get it lined up with the gears below and just pull it back up like this. Okay, so I got the dash, the parking brake uh, knob on, the two 10 mils in, and then I'll put this washer on. and just pull up so you can see the holes to get this roll pin installed. And we'll drive that home. All right, so don't forget to put on your, your bellow and we'll put the roll pin back in.
All right, and then we'll get this knob for the speed. Let's push this back on like that. And get the steering wheel cover. Just like that. All right, so the dash is done. And I think now we'll just go ahead and do an oil change. Okay, so the oil drain is right here, but that's gonna make a mess if you don't have a tube coming off. So I had a clear tube laying around that I zip tied to that, and it just comes out right here, so I can drain it down here. And then when it's, I'll just put it back in here when it's not being used. So we'll get this draining. All right, got all the oil drained out. We'll get this drain tube back in here and let's let it sit in there like that and now we'll get this oil filter off and that's right here all right so we'll get a wrench and loosen this up And you might want to put some paper towels or rags because it's probably going to make a mess. Just like that. Alright, so got the new oil filter. This is the, the part number there. And usually you wanna fill, you know, put some oil in the filter, but since this installs upside down, that's pretty much useless. So just go ahead and put the new one on. And just crank it down as tight as you can get it with your hand. And just kind of clean up any that spilled and we'll go ahead and put the, the new oil in all right we got some 1030 synthetic blend oil and I'm not really finding how much to put in but I think we'll start with uh, a quart and a half and we'll check it All right, we'll let the oil settle and we'll check it here in a minute. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up. We got the rollers on, got the dash on, and got the oil changed. I ended up putting a little over a quart and a half of oil in and it showed full on the dipstick. So, thanks for following along. <laughs>